number 10. Neil McGarrell dropped an easy catch of Jacques Callis's during the South Africa Tour of West Indies' third ODI at St. George's 2001. Jacques Callis paleed a lofted off drive. McGarrell positioned it long on, but he couldn't hang on to it. South Africa won by 132 runs in this match. Number 9. Sean Pollock dropped an easy catch of Alex Stewart's during the England Tour of South Africa second test in Johannesburg on 1995. The ball balloons in the air and was the easiest of chances for Pollock, who had plenty of time to get well in place, but can't hang on to it. However, the match was drawn. Number 8. In 2006, during South Africa and Australia's first test, Andre Nell, who was positioned at deep fine leg, leapt in to attempt to catch out Ricky Ponting but spilt the ball. Ponting was on 46 at the time he went on to score 74 runs. Australia won by 7 wickets in this match. Number 7. During the Australia Tour of New Zealand first test, Christchurch in 2005, Matthew Hayden, who was positioned at first slip, leapt in to attempt to catch out Lou Vincent but spilt the ball. Vincent gets a leading edge as he looks to front foot drive. He was on zero at that moment, and he could score just four runs in this MAC. Number 6. During the Australia Tour of South Africa 4th ODI at Durban on April 5, 1997, Adam Gilchrist, who was positioned at first slip, leapt in to attempt to catch out Daryl Cullinan but spilt the ball. Cullinan gets a leading edge as he looks to back foot drive, the ball in the air and was the easiest of chances for Gilchrist, but he couldn't take it. Australia won by 15 runs in this match. Number 5. Chris Gale dropped an easy catch of Scott Styrus's during the West Indies Tour of New Zealand 5th ODI in Auckland on 2006. Styrus gets a leading edge as he looks to lofted off drive shot, the ball balloons in the air and was the easiest of chances for Gale, who had plenty of time to get well in place, but can't hang on to it. Styrus was on 26 at the time he went on to score 90 runs. But West Indies won by three wickets in this match. Number 4. Abdul Razak dropped an easy catch of Sanath Jayasuriya's during the Pakistan tour of Sri Lanka first ODI in Dambulla on July 30, 2009. Jayasuriya gets a leading edge as he looks to flick, the ball balloons in the air and was the easiest of chances for Razak, who had plenty of time to get well in place, but can't hang on to it. However, Sri Lanka won by 36 runs in this match. Number 3. During the fourth test at Kingston between Australia and West Indies in 1995, Winston Benjamin was dropped by wicketkeeper Ian Healy in West Indies' second inning. After drop that catch he scored 51 runs. However, like any other player, he may have dropped an easy catch on occasion. However Australian won the match. Number 2. Mutia Muralidharan dropped an easy catch of Shahida Fridis during the Singer Akai Cup second match between Pakistan and Sri Lanka at Sharjah in 1997, when he was on 29. Afridi went on to score 67 runs in just 55 ball with 5 sixes. However Sri Lanka won by 19 runs in this match. Number 1. Junior Murray was a wicketkeeper who played for the West Indies cricket team in the 1990s and early 2000s. During the Pakistan tour of West Indies' first test at Port of Spain in 1993. 
Murray dropped an easy catch of Amr Suhil's when he was on 17. Suhil went on to score 55 runs. However, West Indies won by 204 runs in this match.